This weekend, which was Veterans Day weekend, it was for the Lee Haney uh, Games competition. The reason why I did it was I'm in preparation to complete OCS uh, within the winter time. And Lee Haney Games was a good opportunity for me to gauge myself of where I was on a fitness level. So I use these games, I use these competitions to allow myself to see where I am when I'm competing against Olympic level athletes and be able to bring that style of training back to my command or back to my, my soldiers. One thing about the military is that we pride ourselves on first of all having mental readiness as well as emotional readiness. And then you move into the physical readiness realm. Well, in preparation for a physical event as such as this, you're gonna to have to be ready on a mental level because you're in front of thousands of people or hundreds of people. You're constantly training, training when you're tired. These are things that you go through during your training cycles where everything is just not comfortable. The new ACFT is not as static as the APFT was. The ACFT is more dynamic. It's more built off CrossFit. It's more built off real world scenarios. So the way that I train is in a real world scenario because how you train is how you fight. As a fitness competitor, to represent the National Guard to the best of my ability, the ultimate goal is to be an IFBB pro. And the reason why I want to be an IFBB pro is because when my soldiers look at me, I want them to know that I am the best version of myself. And I want to influence them. I don't want to force you to PT. I want you to do it because you want to. Even if it's from a competitive standpoint that this man is older than me, he's my leader, why not be better? Why not be able to have fun and create a very healthy camaraderie with your soldiers? And it's not officers here enlisted here. The reason why I began this whole journey was to be the best soldier I could be. I have many mentors, uh, many individuals that have come throughout my life that has shown me the way that I want to go and the path that I want to have and be healthy when I'm 40 and above, healthy when I'm 50, and still be able to be viable in my community, but as well as my job and my career and in the military.